we have had quite a lot of job growth. We're in much less bad shape than we were at this point in the global financial crisis. But definitely, inflation is on the bad side of the ledger. I think the biggest question on a lot of people's minds right now is how worried should they be about inflation? How, how severe is the problem? Before we get to inflation, we should put it in context. The unemployment rate has come down faster than most anyone expected. We have had quite a lot of job growth. We're in much less bad shape than we were at this point in the global financial crisis. But definitely, inflation is on the bad side of the ledger. One of the bigger economic stories from the past year has been how the COVID pandemic has disrupted supply chains. To what extent do these disruptions have an effect on inflation? The biggest issue we have is demand, that people had a lot of cash left over because they didn't spend as much last year. They got another round of big checks and interest rates are extremely low. All of that lets people spend lots of money. That then collides with two very distinct supply chain problems. One is where the supply chain got worse. That has happened with microchips because factories have shut down in China and Malaysia because of COVID and electricity shortages. But the bigger supply chain issue is that supply chains are increasing. They're just not increasing as fast as we'd like them to. So American ports are processing more stuff than they processed two years ago, much, much more stuff than they processed two years ago. We just wanted them to process much, much, much more stuff uh, than they processed um, two years ago. So the problem is supply is not keeping up with demand. I wouldn't call that a supply problem, even though lots of people out there definitely do think of it that way. At this point, do you think it's a good idea for the Federal Reserve to raise interest rates? The thing to understand about interest rates is if people think they're going up, that matters today. They've set the default, we're probably not going to raise rates, but if things change, we will. I'd like to see that flipped. We're probably going to raise rates, you know, sometime maybe even in the first half of next year. And if the inflation goes away before we get to that point, then we'll call it off. But based on the track we're on now, we should be raising rates. That's not what they're doing. I think that's what they should do. And my guess is that they start moving towards that. Just a few days ago, President Biden signed the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act. It's usually referred to as the infrastructure bill. There's some speculation that this could help with inflation. Do you think there's any merit to that argument? There's one argument that by investing more in infrastructure will expand the productive capacity of the economy, which would lower inflation. I think that's true. Also, though, if you spend more money, um, that can create price pressures um, in the other direction. To a first approximation, I don't expect this legislation to have much of an effect on inflation, positive or negative. It's possible. I think it probably won't. You should think, what's it going to do to delet our pipes? What's it going to do to expand the capacity of our rail and ports? What's it going to do to invest in innovation to combat climate change? Uh, all of those, I think, are quite positive effects of the bill and are much more important than whatever small effect it has on inflation. 